Hello, I am Bentamer. Welcome back to Factorio Living with Biters. In the previous episode, we did some power stuff and then some power stuff went wrong again because uh, that's what it likes to do right now. Let's have a quick check of it because I've forgotten what... yeah. So, yeah, the, we had the steam engine shut down and then we fixed them again. Uh, but the fix is temporary and we need to make sure that's all good. Have the, uh, the accumulators charged? Yes, they have. That's good. But it looks like they're occasionally... Are they occasionally kicking it in? It's hard to say. It looked like it was twitching about there. I don't know. Yeah, the steam engines have dropped slightly in their power, but only slightly. That's a bit bit of a worry. Yeah, the solar panels and the steam engines are still running at pretty much full pelt, even in the day. And later on we need to worry about the solar panels not being handy, and then them needing to charge the accumulators again. So yeah, it's a bit fiddly. It's a bit annoying, really. Let's go have a look at the... Uh, at our coal mine. Because there's, there's a weird thing going on with it where only one side of this line is working and it's because, apparently, of a belt blockage. So we'll get rid of that. Don't know what I was doing. What have we got over here? Because I haven't... Yeah, I forgot what the situation was. It looks like we have all electric now and we appear to have had this in place for a while but it has now stopped. So I guess we'll just clear away this bit just for tidiness. There's a bit of coal that seems to not be moving. I guess the uh, the belt never... Oh, I accidentally cleared away a bit of belt that I shouldn't have. Put that back, keep that running. There is enough coal here to last us a very long time, but... It's still not infinite, as demonstrated by the fact that this particular one has run out. See, another thing we did last episode was we sorted out the, the copper. Because there wasn't enough of it coming through and it was limiting blue signs, so hopefully we've got that going at uh, a nice good speed again. Let's run down here for reasons unknown. These are all running. There's a couple that aren't, which is good, because if it was running at full capacity, we would need more capacity. Over here, we have all these running full speed. Uh, water pressure, not fantastic, actually. I think I've been a little bit stingy with the, uh, with the way I've set up the pumps. We've got uh, two pumps supplying 20 boilers, and it's... Not perfect, but the water pressure is fairly high. Well, it's 10 at the pipe. I think one of the issues is that there is only one pi one actual pipe going between the pump setup and the uh, and the boiler setup. But it's running. That's the important thing. Apparently, the available performance is not as much as it could be. Everything's running at 96 degrees, which is what I think happens when the power system is running at full pelt. And because it is night time, everything's gone rubbish. The accumulators have cut out, and like we're not even halfway through the night yet. So yeah, even though we fixed that like at the beginning of last episode, which is literally like 20 minutes of game time ago, uh, it's gone wrong again. Probably because we put in all of those uh, copper uh, furnaces. And thinking about it, maybe, maybe it's time to go for efficiency modules. I was wondering if I didn't need them this time because pollution is not important. The only factor that is making the biters evolve appears to be the time factor, uh, based on how long it's taken them to get to the odd medium biter. I feel like they would have got there quicker if they were counting pollution. So I sort of thought, well, I don't need any uh, any efficiency modules then, but I think we do just because power is so fiddly with so many biter bases being sat literally on top of coal supplies. So we'll do a bit of a resupply, make sure we're all good there. There's an attack going on somewhere. Hopefully it stops. It, yeah, it's over at the copper again. I bet it's that exact same spot. They keep attacking this one little spot on the uh, on the wall of the copper place. Also, I think we can clear away some of this. Because this is something I meant to do ages ago. This was sort of a temporary thing to make some steel. Because we had new iron production. But I did intend to clear this away so that the biters had more of a clear path, but they haven't attacked here recently. So I wonder if I even need to do that anymore. I might just leave it as it is. Until a biter does attack and then I'll fix it. So yeah, we've got copper running along here and circuits. Someone was saying, why don't you just have the copper bypass the circuits and... Which is a good question. Probably should. Doesn't quite fit though, actually. I could fiddle about with the positions of stuff, but I... I don't know, at the moment it's getting through, and if it's not getting through it's because too many circuits are being made, and that'll stop if 
the copper doesn't get it, it's sort of like it, it's a bit of a self-regulating system but it's it's still not brilliant I'm gonna leave it for now and just see how it goes I remember when I set all this up and I was like yeah this is totally temporary and I've just been relying on it ever since at the moment it's been alright but at some point things might get a bit too much at the moment though this copper line is totally full which is fantastic it looks like all of the the blue science stuff is going actually which is excellent actually, oh, it's, it's not quite there we don't have a build up of batteries and in fact the supply of um, smart inserts is running down the reason for smart inserts is running down is circuits and batteries there isn't a reason as far as I can tell I think maybe we might just need more of these Sulfuric acid is, a, is completely filling the pipes, so we may actually just need more uh, chemical plants making batteries. We'll give that a shot, I think. We'll see how that goes. We'll craft ourselves a couple of chemical plants. I think these fit alright. We'll do a bit of marking. Hmm, it's not perfect actually. Oh, but we, we can move that pipe because the pipes will be going through the system itself anyway. Hang on, where did I mark it? I marked it there, so we want to put in our walls for now. If I've done that wrong. Which they have a, a two space gap between our various things. Let's clear away this so these spiders aren't herded in here. Because that doesn't help anything. Come on, off you go. No need to stay here. I know the, the belts pulled you in, but you can go now. One guy's leaving, but the other guy isn't. Come on, don't do that. I don't want to have to belt you out, because that's annoying. Damn it. Go away. Right. Cleared out. Get rid of the internal wall. And then we can basically just copy the system that we've already got here. That is the idea. Scalability is key in all things, in terms of Factorio. And how we set it up just so it's the same. We've done it like this. Except how did we do the... No, oh, that's a stupid way of arranging the uh, the power poles. You know what? We'll get one of the medium ones. Just because otherwise it doesn't work out and that's just annoying. Usually I try and avoid that because I just like it all to be the same. The reason that I don't switch to the medium poles is often because I've already used the light poles and having a mix of the two uh, looks silly to me. Again, my, my reasoning is often clouded by whether things look nice. You may have learned this about me by now. Of course, sometimes there is... Um, Elegance in just the, in arranging something efficiently. Right, where will we put that light? We can put that there. Right, so this should all be working now. That should all be good. Yep, it's all going. Excellent. I felt like I had more to do, but not really. I do want to move this pipe, though, because we do need to do the outer belts. So, we don't have any extra handy. We'll just pick up these and then reuse them. Bring them along here. There we go with lab efficiency. Let's do, just do more of that. I don't think there's anything particularly urgent to do right now. I was going to just do normal belts, but I remember that if we have normal belts, there's a lot more uh, danger of biters getting angry and just trying to destroy it. We might even do it here. I mean, I see we might. I'm already doing it, so you know what's... You know I'm doing it here. It's not that much of a gap, but I think it just helps the biters with their mobility and, and that is a vital thing because if they don't get their mobility they get angry and then they try and kill you so we'll put in this bit and that's all good now the question is does that break everything else because already we were having issues with the smart inserters they have now completely run down oh batteries are, oh, batteries are probably filled up because smart inserters have run down and smart inserters may have run down because... Ooh, is that a, a spitter there? They're expected, I think. Yeah, it's a small spitter. They they started spawning at the same time as the medium biters did. But yeah, circuits 
far too limited. We need to do something about that, and the the fix may be to actually add in more circuit assemblers, which is interesting. So, over we go. And have a look at it. Yeah, these are running at full speed, I think. Oh, well, they're not because the electricity's broken, but then it will equally affect uh, the assemblers for circuits and the ones for uh, blue signs, so it is still an issue if they're not making enough. And it, it's sort of staying like that, so... Hmm. The only real solution is more of these. So... If, I, if I'm doing that, I feel like I should have it as a separate thing. We could put a new barrier in here. Well, not a barrier, a, a new path through for the biters. And that would uh, that would appease them. We do have this steel line here. Does it have to go this way? I think it does. Just because of the complete mess that we already have going on here. Hmm. We can maybe move some things around. We could... If we have a wall running along here, yeah, we won't be able to have the uh, the steel come here because there just wouldn't be enough room. We could move. I think the key is moving the gear production. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this line. I'm going to let things clear out a bit, and I'm going to rejig this system. Once things have moved a bit, come on, move a bit. So I don't end up with iron all over the floor. So where does iron need to go? It needs to go onto that line there. Which is actually in a fiddly place that we might want to fix. But then that means we have to fix... Oh, there's a knock-on effect everywhere. But I think it will ultimately be worth it. That's the hope. Right, let's just clear away all these bits. We want to get a big gap going through here that we can use. What well, the biters can use specifically. Gears go along that line. Come on, not stop with the freezing. I don't like the freezing. Hmm. If we get us, we're actually putting back some of the stuff we just got rid of. But if we put a splitter there, that can run off that way, which it needs to. I think that was what happened anyway. Admittedly. Let's clear away these. Hopefully, oh, that, that's unpowered something. There, that's fixed. If we put the assemblers in this way. It doesn't make that much more room, but it does make more room. So that's pretty good. We do need to get rid of that and that, actually. And we can get some inputs going here. some outputs and they go onto this line as before they're even on the same side as before though I don't think that's important I think yeah everywhere it goes it ends up being put onto a side of a belt anyway put that back in the iron we sort of want that to run somewhere else And let's mark off the, where we'll start having our walls as well, just to help me get an idea of where things need to go. If we have it too wide, that'd be fantastic. We can definitely send the steel a different way. In fact, we can be quite sneaky with it. If we move this there, we can go under all of this. Go this way, and come out there. It's actually so far further along that it causes issues for the solar panel production, but I like it. We can do something about that. I should probably disconnect the other system before I start messing about with it. We'll end up with steel filling up everything. Cut that there. Go back outside. Hoover up a bunch of steel. We can move this. 
In fact, it would work quite well to move it. So, we will. Just as soon as I've cleared all this up. How much of there is... How, how much of it is there? Not much. Last little bits. A good demonstration of how things flow slower around the insides of corners. The fact that this is taking a lot longer to run out. Right, we'll clear all this. And we'll disconnect all of these. Break that. Shift it up by one. If we're not stood in the way. We'll have to move the, uh, the power poles as well. Keep them all where they need to be. That works. Input, input. Uh, we still want a long one for this bit. And output. I should, I probably should have like blues on the input and yellows on the output. That would probably make more sense. I don't know how much of each thing you need because I, I forget and don't care that much. Yeah, really, we want this power pole moved slightly. Though so that's not doable. Hold on. We'll just we'll just shift it all about. Who cares? Right. Tell that to make its thing again. Just so that's all working as it should. This can go this way, and we can have this. Oh, that still goes uh, like it should. I have a phone ringing. How do I hang up on this? I don't even know. I haven't had this phone for very long. That's that's awkward. How do I stop it? I don't know how to stop it. There's no red button on modern phones. Okay, it's stopped anyway. I will sort that later. Right, uh, yes. My apologies for that. You came here for Factorio, and I'm just talking about my phone. Uh, let's go back in here. And hook that up like that. And that should send the steel where it wants to go. At the moment we don't have any running down it because I disconnected it. And I don't want to reconnect it straight away because right now we have ridiculous amounts of steel on our person. And I would like to fix that. So I'm just going to dump a bunch in here and that can be the supply for now. There is the problem of it being only on one side. We can we can fix that if we do it the other way around. We'll do it over here. Let's just put a splitter here, and that will make it balance. And then we'll just fill this with steel again. Ooh, biters, where? Where? Oh, over there, and he's not stopping. Hmm. That's annoying, because we do have the belt system going on there. Please move. Please move. Oh, no. If I break it, will he go away? He went away. There's the wall. Put it back. Oh, we got. It. Was that? No, that was the same alarm. It's weird when it does a sort of ringing off alarm like this. Is the there isn't an alarm anymore? Alarm. Just thought we'd let you know there isn't an alarm anymore. Right. We haven't told these what to do yet, and we should make those. And then we need to actually have the iron running along again. And then we need to send it down here. And here's another fiddly bit because we need to make sure that the iron is being merged with the circuits somewhere else. Potentially in here, if we can fit it, that would work. We want the output to be here specific. Actually, it doesn't matter where it is. It can be in either of these spots. We need to move this to make sure that doesn't get in our way. Right, let's cut all these lines and then reinstate them in a way that is friendly with our new design. We can also just get rid entirely of the steel line stuff just so it doesn't confuse us. And that's gone. Put this in here. Do that. And then... I haven't actually given myself enough room. I've got this slightly mixed up. We can sort that. Oh, there's another issue here. Hmm. That's a problem. How do we solve this? I'm just going to put in these walls anyway. I've actually got that position wrong, but that's not a problem. That's just me getting 
something in the wrong spot, that still works. We could shift this all up by one. Yes, we'll do that. That works. Okay, clear that way. That might have been what I was intending originally, and I got it misaligned in my head. Got confused. Right, underground belts. Not wait, like that. And then instead of here, the wall runs here. Oh, someone just blew up. Someone blew up super quick. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's over at the power. Oh no, what are you doing? We need the power for power things. Please stop. Where are you? Oh, you stopped now. Okay, we'll go fix our next episode because we're running out of time here. Note to self. Next episode, go find out what got blown up over at the steam engines. We could maybe check by looking at the performance. No sudden drop, but that's because it was already not running at full speed. It's looking a lot better now. Oh, it's because I've broken everything, so everything's shut down. Right, so... Let's clear away this line and put it back in here. Was that important? No. Excellent. And then we'll break this, put it in here. That probably was important. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. We'll break this for a moment so we can get into position in places. Oh. That's an issue. This and the stuff. And, oh, can it? No, it can't fit. It would have to go from there. The iron and there's sort of a a steel thing there. We could... Mm, Oh. We need a substation. I'm running over time here, but I sort of want to get this done before we finish. The substation reaches from all the way over there, so we can, if we break that light and these belts, put it there. Put the light there. Right. We don't need power poles there anymore, which means that we can clear away this. This bit can go there. Means we can go underground just for a, a, a tiny flash of a moment which allows the iron to go underneath here which means that everything is working again except this little bit of circuits that needs doing and then we need to merge iron and, and circuits so that's that's a fiddly bit not sure how we do that so I think we'll fix that next episode. We'll get all of this properly set up next episode. We'll break these lines uh, and allow the biters to travel through. We'll add in a bunch more circuit production down there, which is the entire point of doing all this in the first place. And we'll also find out what that biter did to the power stuff in the south. So, I shall say goodbye. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.